the Order of Light presents Gray Extraterrestrials. Who are they? Where do they come from? And what do they want? For many years, multiple experiencers have had encounters with these strange, mysterious gray beings. We will explore all the possibilities. Are these beings from the future, the present, or the past? Come explore with us in this live presentation as we try to figure out all of you, the subscribers, giving your comments and insight. For once and for all, we will figure this out. Please hit that like button and let's get to the show. Who and what are gray extraterrestrials for millennia? Extraterrestrials have been a huge topic, especially these beings that are reported as being gray extraterrestrials. What are their appearances? We will be going over the many different forms of grays, along with the origin. How are they made? Also providing where do they come from and previous cases involving greys throughout history. And lastly, we will be discussing what do they want with humanity. So firstly, appearances. Greys have been reported in all sorts of shapes, sizes, and colors. From blues to light grays to whites to lightly green and many others. Some have even been reported with having hair on their bodies. For the most part, grays are hairless and they have these bulbous heads with large black eyes, which some have said that the black eyes are actually lenses to cover up color eyes. And there are many different species throughout the universe and depending on where they come from, how they are created, and what did they evolve from, all of these things play as factors into how these beings look. For the most part, some are very, very short from a foot and a half to about three and a half feet. They are known as the smaller grays. There are other grays that are human size. And there are some that are seven foot to nine foot or more very large beings. And as I said, they come in all different colors and they have many different shapes and sizes, including their heads. Some look more like a heart shape. Others look like a huge volleyball of some sort, like a huge bulbous head. Others have elongated skulls that stretch very very uh, far back, such as the Coneheads, which most of you uh, probably know that movie. And they come in a lot of different uh, tones as well. Some of them have light gray skin, gray, white, blue, reddish tones, orangish tones, greenish tones, etc. So they come in many different forms. And the origin, you know, where do these beings come from? Most people are familiar with Zeta Reticuli and the multi-star complex where it houses many different types of gray extraterrestrials. But they also come from all over the place because the process of creating extraterrestrials can be numerous. Some have speculated that extraterrestrials, grays in particular, are created of some sort of cloning project. Others have said that they are humans that have digressed and have watered down their genetic code to all look the same. Others have also speculated that it's a mixture of humanoid, reptoid, mantis beings, and other species of extraterrestrials all coming together and creating new beings such as these grays and connecting them with technology and the AI hive-minded uh, programs. So they are made and created in many different ways.
history of gray extraterrestrials in American pop culture. It's unknown when the greys begin their evolution, but we do have an idea of where they're from due to the fact that American whistleblower Bob Lazar was apparently working on a saucer from Zeta Reticuli 3. Add that to the testimony of other whistleblowers about there being a grey known as J-Rod on the premises. It was safe to assume that Zeta Reticuli 3 was the place of their origin. At an unknown point in time, most likely in humanity's early history, they mastered interstellar travel and managed to get to Earth. One of the first notable encounters with Greys was on July 8, 1947 in the town of Roswell, New Mexico. Two crafts allegedly crashed in different places in the New Mexico desert. One crashed onto a rancher's field and he even recovered some debris believing that the craft had been property of the U.S. government. Two bodies were recovered from the crashes and there was only one survivor. The survivor later called EBE, Extraterrestrial Biological Entity, by the Americans was interviewed by the U.S. officials where it was determined that the species was telepathic, telekinetic, and came from Zeta Reticuli star system. EBE later died in 1952 due to disease. Another notable encounter with Greys was the Betty and Barney Hill abduction, otherwise known as Zeta Reticuli incident in 1961. Betty Hill and her husband Barney were driving along a New Hampshire road when they saw something in the sky that looked like a falling star. In actuality, it happened to appear a large flying disc with two red lights on each side. When the craft began to fly away, the hills pursued the craft until the craft stopped. Barney got out of the car and looked at the craft with his binoculars. When he saw the creatures, he was shocked. They tried to get away, but they were soon abducted by the greys. Waking up later with no recollection of the last half hour, they later underwent hypnosis to recover the memories which revealed what happened to them during these examinations. During the hypnosis, Betty drew a star map which was shown on the ship. A member of Mencia later identified the primary stars as Zeta A and B Reticuli. How are these beings made? Many people think that gray extraterrestrials are nothing more but clones, cyborgs, robots that are attached to an AI hive-minded program and that these beings are created to be slaves and servants to other species throughout the universe. Some have also speculated that gray extraterrestrials are actually humanoids from our distant past that have destroyed themselves due to radiation, nuclear weaponry, fallout, etc. and that over a long amount of time from them interbreeding and mixing their genetics over and over again they eventually became this. There are other humanoid species out there that have large craniums and bulbous heads and very large eyes that aren't greys but humanoids which they seem to be a direct link of the middle spot of this evolution of which they will become. And I believe some of the taller gray extraterrestrials could be possibly made from this kind of evolution versus the smaller extraterrestrials, the short ones, actually being created from other humanoids, mantis insectoid beings, and draconians and reptilians uh, incorporating their genetics to make a working slave race to do everything they don't want to, just like we, humanity, are creating robots to do everything for us. Well, the best robot you could have is one that's flesh and blood and that can think in the way they do and to actually finish the job. So, 
we just talked about in some of the history where do they come from you know a lot has been said about zeta reticuli but it's not just that it's andromedon it's orion and many other places as well sirius uh, Centauri and many other places throughout the star systems and universe have their own versions of grays or they have humanoids that are on the same path to become grays eventually. And another uh, interesting point to pull out is, you know, if these beings actually exist and they're coming here to Earth, what do they want? What do they want from humanity, right? That's the one thing we're all trying to figure out. What do these beings want with humanity? Some have speculated that they are actually coming here to study their own history. As I mentioned before in their origin and how they are made, many believe that they once were like us, but due to nuclear fallout, AI, technology, etc., that they literally became what they were, even though they used to be like us. So for them to come here and study us, they get to see a glimpse of what they used to be. Another popular theory is that these beings are trying to regain their humanity. And the only way to do that is by harvesting eggs and embryos in these intermediary uh, hybrid programs that they're creating to make a race of their species that has more human characteristics, emotion, etc. Because these beings from many reports are emotionless and they don't have a lot of emotion and it seems that they are abducting many experiencers and contactees and they are taking their eggs embryos semen etc and trying to create some new version of their race to help them get back to what they once were Another speculation is that the Greys are here to enslave us. And that's a fun one. I think we do a good job at that of ourselves. We don't need much help. We always choose the inconvenience road. I also think some of these beings are come here to maybe try to stop what happened to their home world and what happened to them and how they became greys maybe they're coming back here to try to warn humanity don't go down this road or you will be just like us and we are trying to change our genetics to be more like you you don't want to lose what you have so many different speculations on that others say you know another reason what do they want from you humanity uh, there has been many reports that these beings and these um, experiences and abductions where these beings uh, have a sense to them that we are nothing more but ants no different than how scientists in a you know laboratory will be studying rats you know some people said they have felt that you know we are nothing but a science project for these beings so with all of this being said there's a lot of different species throughout the universe whether they are artificially designed you using bio uh you know genetic material or something other such as ai high finite technology or if they are actually humans that somehow some way their planet was affected by a mass solar flare or radiation or their own doing nuclear energy atomic bombs ai manipulation handing over everything in our own free will to allow ai and computers and algorithms to do everything for us Regardless of what you think about these beings or where they come from or how they were created, one thing is for sure, they definitely exist. There has been numerous, and I mean numerous, accounts of these beings coming in all shapes, forms, and sizes throughout our history, going back to the earliest days. And it seems that whatever these beings are up to, there is a scientific mentality that is behind it. 
So I would love to hear all of your thoughts, all of your opinions of these gray extraterrestrials, of what they could be, what do they want with humanity, how are they created, what are they, leave it down in the comments below. I know a lot of people have always demonized these beings, but humanity always has a tendency to demonize what they don't understand. So let's understand it together. Hit that like button, comment below.